The Email Communication Content Pack allows you to interact with people outside of the security team using email from within the Cortex XOR platform. The features of this pack enable security teams to automate the communication process with end users and captures the exchange directly within an XOR incident. Once you've installed the pack, begin by configuring the classifier and mapper on your chosen email integration instance. Supported email integrations include EWS, Gmail, and MS Graph Mail. Make sure to select the classifier and mapper specific for your chosen integration. Next, configure a pre-processing rule that will run the included script to process incoming emails to either create a new incident or attach its contents to an existing incident it is related to. Begin by setting a filter for incident type email communication. Set the action to run a script. And choose the script pre-process email included in the pack. The next step is to customize the settings of the send email reply script to configure the email address your outgoing messages are sent from, as well as the specific mail sender instance you want emails to be sent with in case you have more than one configured. Begin by detaching the automation, then using the settings pane to define the service mail and mail sender instance argument initial values. When finished, click save, close the settings pane, and then reattach the automation. You can customize the signature line included in new outgoing emails using an XOR list. You can either use plain text or HTML to give your outgoing message a customized look automatically. Ensure the list name is XOR email communication exactly as shown and content type HTML. The signature block can either be plain text or can be formatted using HTML. For incoming emails that are fetched as new incidents, an email communication type incident is created. In the email communication tab, you can see the original email HTML received from the end user and you can craft a response. Use the three step workflow to add additional users to CC if needed on the response, create a message body and add attachments if necessary. Once the attachment has been added, click Save. And finally, click the Send Reply button. Outgoing messages will be shown in the Email Thread Layout panel. You can use the Email Threads Layout to add multi-threaded email functionality to any incident type you wish. For this demo, I have customized a version of the out-of-the-box access incident type to which I've added the email threads layout as a tab. To begin a new email thread, use the three-step workflow for new threads on the right-hand side to set recipients, subject, and body of the message to send. You can also add attachments in step number three before clicking the send new email button. When a reply to your existing thread is received, the entire email chain will appear in the Thread Viewer panel in the lower left. Use the Email Selected Thread field and Update button to switch between threads you wish to view. Reply to an existing email thread using the three-step workflow for Reply to Existing Thread in the middle of the layout. Replies are automatically sent to all existing recipients on the thread and you can add additional CC and BCC recipients if needed. Again, you can add attachments if desired before clicking the Reply to Thread button to send your message. And that's all for the demo. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it helpful. Check out our article on xor.pan.dev for full documentation of this content pack including detailed configuration instructions. Thank you.